Hey, Tony here, Random Ventures 2.0. <laughs> I got a car coming, truck coming. So I am just, uh, where am I at? What am I doing? <laughs> well, where am I at? <laughs> well, I'm at a covered bridge right there. So you can see it right there. And what am I doing? Well, I'm thinking about stealth camping, hammock camping under the bridge. All right, so I've got a farm this way where there's must be employees from uh, Knoebel's uh, amusement park. I hear a lot of weed eating up there. They just stopped, uh, but somehow, now we're not gonna hammock camp inside of it. My idea is to get underneath of it, and I think I can probably do it. I'll get top this fence. Oh yeah, that looks like a spot I can get down. All right, well, I gotta pick the right time. Maybe I'll just hang around here like I'm taking pictures of the bridge and admiring it. Because we are, right? All right, I'll see you in a bit. All right, so they're weed eating up there quite a bit. Now, I just talked to a guy who just left. Uh, he just went across the bridge. now. I dumped my backpack off behind that tree over there. So, so I'm just walking around, checking it out, learning more about it, reading about this bridge. Yeah, but I can hear the water running down there. All right, so I've got to wait because I'm going to be too obvious if I try to go down there now. Oh, here comes the motorcycle. All right. All right, they just all, all the workers just packed up. They took uh, two dump trucks and a couple golf carts across the bridge. I didn't film them, uh, but I got a truck here coming on behind me. But I'm just gonna stand like I'm still admiring the bridge and looking at it and hey, wave. <laughs> so yeah, very cool. <laughs> so, all right, I think we're gonna be good here uh, pretty soon. Let that truck get out of the way. There's nobody else working up there and all the weed eating stopped. They packed up and they headed back to the main park. All right, I'm gonna give it a couple more minutes. I'm gonna walk down here to my backpack. And uh, it's, it's up against the tree. I don't think anybody really looked at it. it kind of blends in, <laughs> so. All right, so I got my backpack on. I'm just on the other side of this guardrail here. All right, I gotta, I, think I gotta get down this little bank here. Oh, there we go. All right, all right. So you can see there's a rock wall right here. So I'm hidden, but I gotta get underneath here. I've not seen underneath here yet, so I don't even know how we can do this. So I didn't even strap it. <laughs> I just grabbed it, threw it on my back, and then headed on down here. Oh man, you can see straight across there. This isn't a very long bridge, but it goes over this little creek. Creek, creek, something like that. <laughs> so whatever you pronounce it, this is the uh, water. This runs down towards Knobles. Yeah. All right, I gotta get the backpack unpacked. And uh, we got to get to cooking. But before we even do that, I've got to look at a place to set up the hammock. All right, I think we're going to go. I got to check to see if we can tie to anything. If not, <laughs> we might have to sleep on the ledge. All right, let me see what we can do. Yeah, so that's the outside wall. You can see there's two beams. It's a double beam right there. And that runs across. I think... I should be able to get my strap around that and then run to the other side as well. Yeah, there's cars going all over that road. None have gone above me yet since I've been under here, but I'm sure they will. <laughs> it's gonna be busy.
Yeah, with these buckle straps, you can just slide them. So I think that's good right about there. So we got the hammock with the bug net here. Now I don't have the big room because there's there's no way to put that up down here to have the big uh, netted room, but this should be good. So I've got the, I had to adjust the ridge line a little bit because we're a little shorter uh, than normally that I put the stuff out, but that's feeling pretty good. Yeah, all right. So, yep, there we go. So that's home for tonight. All right, well, I gotta get stuff out, start setting up we're gonna set up our little kitchen, <laughs> we'll call it. We're gonna do it right on that uh, cement shelf. That, this is really awesome. Now, I do have a house over that direction, and there's some out through there. That car just went over. Um, but there's some weeds where I can just make out the house, so I'm gonna have to be cautious with my light later just stay over in this far corner here. All right, let me get stuff out of the backpack. All right. All right, so here's our, here's our food bag. Now, what are we having? Well, I'll tell you in a minute, but what I gotta do first, oh, there's a big old lamp, <laughs> all right. Uh, let me get all the cook stuff set up. Uh, ooh, better turn on the thermos cell because them bugs are gonna get bad. There we go. Set that right about there. Now that's gonna give a 20 foot radius. Hopefully it'll keep everything, um, like all the stuff right in here so that it creates a nice barrier for us. All right. Ooh. Coffee beans, our fire maple cook pot. <laughs> what are we having? Uh, let, me, let me keep getting stuff out of here. So this is our titanium cup and burner. And that's our top quilt because it's going to get cold later. Now I bought the, brought the big uh, cook system here. Uh, so I've got the big propane tank. That's a Coleman, one of those green Coleman's. Uh, because we got the old and cracking dated burner right in here. That's a three burner. Because I'm gonna. Well, why don't I go ahead and show you what we're having? <laughs> so let me empty out the the bag. Let me get stuff out so you can see it. Here comes another car. Yeah, <laughs> just went over. All right, I'm gonna finish getting our stuff out. Stop cars down. Alright, All right, so I got the food bag right here, so I'm gonna just empty that like I said. I think I'm gonna take and lay everything out. Now I on our cutting board, so Shade Tree America may be this. And uh, I'm gonna use that back side. I'll just lay everything out on here. Uh, I use the back side to cut, but I'm just laying everything on this. YouTube cutting board. <laughs> it's an original. All right. All right. So what are we having? Well, we're having cheeseburgers. <laughs> so here's the burgers. There's two of them here. So they're pretty warm. <laughs> so they were in my backpack for a while. We were waiting in the warm weather. So and then we got provolone cheese. Um, whoa. Then these here is uh, cherry wood real bacon crumbles. Look at that. All right, that's black label, so we're gonna have that. And then, but we're gonna do our burger with my Ram Adventures 2.0 GPS. What's GPS? No, nope, not GPS. <laughs> Global positioning system. It's garlic, pepper, and salt. So we're gonna do that on our burger. I do have in here. I've got some condiments. So, so I've got bell peppers and jalapeno peppers cut up in this one. Uh, we've got some onions, tomato, and lettuce. 
we're going to see what we're going to use. I'm not quite sure yet. Uh, so we do have uh, a little bit of packets here. We got ketchup, mayonnaise, and then, hey, look at this stuff. This is uh, honey barbecue or honey roasted barbecue from Chick-fil-A. Ooh, that stuff is good. Not sure how it'll be on the burger. But what kind of bun are we going to use? Well, <laughs> it's a little different. We're going to use this here. It's a, a brioche waffle with butter. I figured we use that on our burger. Well, let me get to cooking. So I do have my stool and uh, I might be able to set that up and eat here, but I might go over there and eat. Uh, but first we got to get everything cooked. So this is going to be a little different. I just heard another vehicle go over right before I turned the camera back on and they must have had their uh, windows down because I could hear all the music they were playing. So, yeah, so far so good. Little nervous about this spot because there's so much traffic and uh, I don't think anybody would be coming down here to fish. Cover bridges are nice to fish around, but this isn't very deep, not at all. And I don't really see any holes or anything like that, that like a fishing hole. So I think we should be pretty good. And I don't think anybody saw me sneaking down here, but I do have another house that's up this way too that I've got to kind of, kind of watch. But yeah, so this is the fire maple pan, non-stick. We're going to do our burgers in this. All right. So our, our hamburgers are, they're still a little cool, <laughs> but I got two of them. I got to get them separated in this pan. I love this burner. It's nice and wide on the bottom so this pan doesn't flip or anything. And get the papers out and stick these back in the... There we go. Stick those back in the bag and start our garbage bag right there. This is our GPS. I'm just going to go ahead and sprinkle that on there. We want to make sure we give it a nice coating. Like I said, that's garlic, pepper, and salt. Bam! <laughs> Alright. <laughs> yeah, look at them burgers. So this is that non-stick pan. So I love this pan here. It's non-stick and we don't have to worry about things sticking to it. <laughs> but yeah. Oh, it's looking and smelling good. I'll just give them a quick flip. It's not going to take too long now. I like my burgers medium rare. So, yeah, we got, and we got two of them. So, I am going to go ahead and get these, these brioche buns out and see what they look like. Oh, <laughs> they're not very big. I might have to squish them so that our burger fits in there. Well, I think our burger's going to be hanging out over to the edges. All right. Well, let me uh, get these out and get them set up, get them ready for us to eat. So I'm squishing these uh, down uh, to make them flatter, but... I'm not sure. I might have to stick these in the pan to stiffen them up a little bit because they're falling apart. I've got them laid out right here. I don't know how this is going to go, but I thought that would be pretty cool to use a waffle, <laughs> a waffle for our burgers. But hey, we'll keep going here. All right, so I got a big piece. <laughs> I have them cut it extra thick. <laughs> so I have a piece of provolone cheese. I'm talking quiet because they, the cars are just going over and over and over. Hope they can't smell my cheeseburger. All right. So this is that piece of cheese. 
piece of cheese. This is one piece of cheese. Look how thick that is. Oh man, I got that thick. <laughs> so I'm gonna stick that right on here. Oh, you know what? Let me put the bacon. Let me put the bacon on top of the burger and then melt it in underneath the cheese. That way, that way it won't fall out when I go to bite it. Yeah, you can see how this is just falling apart. So I'm not really sure what to do with that. This one's okay. Oh, look at that cheese melting. All right. So, yeah. Let me get another one out and leave it whole, not smush it. See how that works. I might just have to put those in a Ziploc bag because I got an extra Ziploc bag here. And then just uh, maybe, maybe we'll crumble them up for breakfast in the morning. But these just don't, these just aren't really big enough. Well, that might work. Yeah. I thought just crum yeah they're crumbling. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna salvage it. I'll get another one out for another top. Or this one might be good enough for a top. Oh, I'll, I'll see. All right, so I've been putting these little waffles in there and toasting them. Well, actually burning them. <laughs> so I don't know if I want to go with banana peppers or jalapenos. I think jalapeno on this one. Put those on there. Yeah. Yeah. I'm thinking onion. Now, I don't even know if I'm going to be able to pick this up. So, this is going to be a treat. <laughs> so, I'm going to get our stuff opened up. So, I grab a couple of onions here. Oh, look at that. A slice of tomato. And then some lettuce I'm just leaving it all right in the pan so I might end up having to eat this right out of the pan <laughs> right what do you think this barbecue honey roasted barbecue uh, let's do the honey roasted barbecue that sounds good give a good old dab on there that okay now now the moment of truth how do we pick it up so let me put the top on i think that's everything we wanted on there Ooh. yeah that's what i should have done i should have just not squished it just used that uh, so i might have to flip that over to pick it up all right i'm gonna get this set down here and see if i can get my spatula under it oh. There we got it in our hand. <laughs> so we're getting close. I'll tell you what, I am gonna grab a napkin, put it around it. There we go. Oh, yeah, you can see it crisped up. You know, maybe it'll hold, I don't know. Well, first bite, here we go. So, another look at it before I bite it. <laughs> Ooh, doesn't that look good? <laughs> oh, nothing like a burger under a covered bridge. And now, a little bit about this covered bridge. It said uh, Johnson number 28. Um, I looked it up a little bit, and you can look it up. Um, look up uh, Pennsylvania covered bridges. Number 28, it says it was built in 1882. All right, so that was quite some time ago. Oh, stop the talking and start biting. <laughs> All right. Oh, where am I going to bite it at first? <laughs> wow. Look at that. Oh, that is a great combination. The brioche um, waffle with butter. <laughs> so that's a neat combination. I'll tell you what, that's one of the best 
burgers I've ever eaten. Mmm. Them jalapenos. Now, the brioche bun, it got crispy. But I think if I didn't have this napkin around it, everything would be falling out on the floor. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Oh, man. I can't get over showing this to you. Doesn't that look good? Man, <laughs> that is awesome. Hmm. I was I was debating about sauteing the onions like in the pan but having that raw onion and that crunch yeah good I have a napkin attached to it, you can wipe your mouth. <laughs> Alright. Big question. <clears throat> Does it get the 2.0 approval? Absolutely. It gets a 2.0 approval. Alright. Well, I'm going to finish eating this. Watch the creek. I'll see how I feel. I've got a Ziploc bag and I got that container that I can stick that burger in if I don't eat it. This is a lot to eat. I didn't realize this burger was that big. Oh! I forgot to show you this. This is sesame chips. All right. So I figured instead of french fries, we'd have chips. And sesame chip. And this is a uh, honey. Getting dark in here. Honey roasted pineapple habanero. <laughs> Get a big enough chip to bite. Oh, they're little chips. They're almost like Fritos. Yeah, you can taste some pineapple and stuff. <laughs> but you don't taste the habanero at all. All right. Well, I'll bring you back after I'm done with my burger. All right. Man, it's nice hearing that water run. Yeah, it is. I don't know if they just shut the bike off. I'm not sure. I'll let you know what's going on. Alright. So, <laughs> they parked the motorcycle over there and then walked back and forth and they were playing music. I couldn't record them <laughs> running back and forth on the bridge because they had music playing. Uh, but I just kind of hunkered down over there and stayed real quiet until I heard them start the bike up again and just left. So, yeah. Oh, this is a 
Nice look upstream here. So my biggest worry is somebody coming down right over there. You can see there's a little walking path, but up on top of the guardrail, you gotta hop over that and it's a steep drop right off the, right as soon as you step down. So the best way to come in is behind me. So up around this way. So, yeah, I don't hear anybody. I'm just gonna go up here and peek a little bit. All right. Yeah, we got this rock wall. You can see there's a, a house over this way. Uh, it's kind of in the woods a little bit. But then there's a house up there. But that's also, I believe, storage buildings for Knobles. Yeah. we got this nice thick woods right next to us. And then it turns down to the creek. And then... If you look all the way across, you can see the stop sign down there. Yeah. That's where we came walking from. And then we're just right under here. So from right here, well, you can see my strap. I'm going to put that up. But for the most part, you can't really see me. I mean, this is eye level here. And if I walk down and I'm just looking at the creek. Oh, look at the creek. I'm not going to see anything this way until I duck down and then boom, there I am. <laughs> All right. So, so that's us for tonight. <laughs> so like I said, unless somebody comes down around this way, I don't believe they'll see me, but if they come all the way down to the water and then turn around and look up, but I'll probably holler at them if I hear them coming down because I don't want to startle anybody. And I certainly don't want to get shot, <laughs> right? <laughs> oh, yeah. But, yeah, we're, we're very thick along the creek on both sides, so nobody's going to be walking up along the creek at all. So, I just ate one hamburger, and I'll tell you what, I am stuffed, <laughs> so I'm not going to eat the other one. I'm going to think, wrap all that up and uh, put it back in my food bag and... Uh, I'll just pack it out for tomorrow. Now that it's cooked, I ain't got to worry about it. But I got some Ziploc bags up there. I'll just put that all in there and start cleaning up a little bit. And <laughs> we'll talk in a minute. All right, I'm all, all cleaned up. So, so I've got my stool. I'm gonna go sit down by the water. And uh, if you watched the last the last video uh, where I was in the uh, hammock bug tent, but it was uh, I did a uh, uh, cot. I slept on a cot, but we ate pickles. Uh, they were supposed to be fiery hot. They weren't fiery at all. <laughs> they were actually really really mild. So I saw another thing. These are pickle bites. It says hot and spicy. We're going to give them a try and see if they're hot and spicy. All right, I'm going to go sit down there. This will be good. I got a nice straight shot up that way. Too many weeds that way. But, yeah, so I'm just out of sight of that house that's right up there. All right, so let's get the pickles out. <laughs> yes, yeah, so we're gonna try these. I don't know, them last ones weren't hot at all. <laughs> yeah. uh, well, I'm starting to see a couple 
leaves fall, so you got that leaf flame on that rock there. Yeah. Oh, the sound of water. So peaceful. All right, let me get these opened up. All right, so there's our pickles. <laughs> uh, see them down in there. Oh, I don't want to pour that juice out. Yep, I'm going to drink that. It's good for you. Put the ripped off piece of trash in the pocket. All right. Well, they smell like pickles, but they don't smell hot. It's supposed to be hot and spicy. All right. Fresh pickle. Now that's a... <laughs> Mm. Well, it's not too overly hot, but definitely hotter than the sucker punch <laughs> pickles that we had the last time. Mm. The other ones were called fiery hot. No. These ones are at least spicy. And not, they're, for me, they're not hot. <laughs> nah. <laughs> good. Definitely good. Yeah, I could have probably put these on my hamburger. Nah. <laughs> and so, we had enough stuff on there. Yeah, and that was that was an amazing hamburger. Really, really was. So, you might be asking, Hey, Tony, what's for dessert? Nothing. <laughs> fiery pickles. No, no, no. Hot and spicy pickles is our dessert. No, I didn't bring any dessert for tonight. Nah. I wasn't sure what it was going to be like down here. So far, so good. But we are expecting rain. Yeah, I think I got a little thing right here. So, you can see it, it kind of gets a little worse. And then after midnight, this, and it's going to rain even when we go to leave tomorrow, but no problem because we got the, <laughs> we'll be underneath here, so we should be good. Watch it not rain at all. <laughs> right? But this creek is known to flood, so I got to be very careful, be diligent tonight, just make sure that the level doesn't come up while we're sleeping, but that's why we're hanging in a hammock. <laughs> so, yeah. I think we're going to venture up top. I want to see how this thing's made. Show you that. Yeah. So, I'm all done with the pickles, and I've got the trash here, and I'm going to stick that in our Ziploc bag. So... I really want to go up there and walk through it while it's still light out. Now, I want to do that. I'm not going to have my backpack on, so it shouldn't look too suspicious because I'm just filming, right? And if anybody stops, say, hey, what are you doing? I'll just talk and say, yeah, I'm really cool. I'll see if they know anything about the cover bridge as well. But, yeah, let's go on and get up there. All right. So... We just made it up top. And we're probably going to see more cars going down that road straight ahead than, than coming across the bridge now. Because if you turn left down there, that goes to Knobles. Uh, not many people would come across this way. Yeah, see, there goes a the truck right there going up the hill. 
Yeah. So this was built in 1882. I do have some information on this that I just took a picture of so you could see it. I'll just put that on the screen here. So you can see Daniel Stein was the builder, 1882. I'm just going to scan you down. Look at all these boards. Wow, that is cool. Well, you can see down through there too. Yeah. What is this? Say the bridge is 61 feet long from end to end and 13 feet wide. Yeah. And you can see all the, how they would notch the, notch things out for the trusses. What, what does it say? A queen truss, queen post trust. Yeah, well, there's a warning here. So, wear tick repellent. Yeah, hopefully with my AB positive blood, ticks don't like me. <laughs> yeah, but we'll definitely be checking ourselves. See if we can look down through here to the water. Uh, yeah, there's the water running. This is a really cool bridge. Yeah. So, when we're at the other end, but you can see here, you kind of got to to get down there. Look at that. That's pretty steep. That's a steep drop right there. Down under. So, I don't expect anybody to come through there. But we're getting towards the end of the day here. I can't even see the sun because it's cloudy. I expect rain here. I think they said in the, coming at pretty quick. Six, but not much. Just a small chance of rain in the beginning. But then it's going to get more and more chance later on through the night. Yeah. So about 10 years ago, they did some repairs to the bridge here. I'll leave that. Support. That's some big beams. Yeah, you can see they didn't use nails. They drove those pegs in to hold everything. Yeah, just like old construction of barns. Really cool. I'll tell you what, this is in good shape. And while well, that note there said it's in good condition. So, Pennsylvania's got a lot of covered bridges. Yeah, all through Pennsylvania. This is just one of many. Oh, there's a... There's a police officer down there at that... Oh, you can't see him because of the sun. All right. He went straight. <laughs> so, yeah, got a little nervous there. Yeah, I'm not sure why they'd be patrolling out here. This is like... Mm. Well, I guess that is main road, road kind of. All right. Well, I don't want to be hanging up top too long, but let's do a little bit more walking here. You can see all the stone for the entrance. How, you know, those stones, they've been laying there for a long time. I would imagine they're probably original stones, but... Now the beams are, the wood is. Oh, we got a car coming. Let me get out of the way. Step out of the way. But, yeah, I'm going to turn the camera off. Yeah, <laughs> so that was close. But they waved, right? <laughs> so, you know, I don't have a backpack. I don't look, I'm just look like I'm looking at the bridge. <laughs> I'm sure a lot of people do that. All right. Well, I'm going to. There's another car up at that stop sign turning. Man, this is a busy area. I didn't realize it was going to be this busy either. All right. Well, let me hop back over the fence and get down there. Well, I'm probably not going to talk to you for a little bit. I'm just going to make my way down there. I don't want to fall. <laughs> All right. I'll probably bring you on when it gets a little bit darker. All right. Yeah, I haven't heard any cars go over for a while. Uh, so, I've got my old light, old bulb up here, but if you look right here, uh, if you see these bolts, or these nuts and bolts, they're metal. 
my own light bulb is magnetized on the back so it actually will stick to it <laughs> or magnetize mag <laughs> magnetize to it all right oh uh, isn't that stream nice man it's put me <laughs> it's put me to sleep i'm getting tired man i can't wait to climb into the hammock but i'm just not ready to go to bed yet ah yeah so this, I've got this on the lower setting. Now, the Olight old bulb has another setting up. So that's the brightest setting. Now, I think if I put it up higher, yeah, I put it kind of up higher. Yeah, it's lighting it up down here, but it's brighter in the camera than it is in here. Because if I turn you around this way, you can see how dark it is still. So you can't even make out my hammock. My hammock's right there in the dark. <laughs> my hammock's right there. So you can't see it. And it's kind of blocking a little bit. But there's, like I said, there's just that one house over there straight across. Now it's got a pole light on that I could see through the woods a little bit. But like I said, I, it's about time to crawl in the hammock with that creek running. That's making me tired. Yeah, but, oh, I got my headlamp on just in case, you know, I'm going to keep it on all night. Because <laughs> you never know. And I keep my shoes on. When I'm stealth camping, I never take my shoes off. But it's hard for me to take my shoes off anyhow because of the stroke. Um, it just, it's a lot of work. So I don't take my shoes off. Um, but stealth cam camping, I always leave my shoes on because you never know when you got to get up and go. Quick, <laughs> all right? So, like I said, no cars have been going by. I haven't heard any for a while. But I'm just going to keep sitting here. Enjoy the sound of the creek. And I'm going to turn that light out because I don't want bugs to start coming around because of my light. All right. Maybe I'll do red for a little while. Yeah. Yeah. Full on stuff mode. And <laughs> so we're in the red mode. So, I don't know if red attracts bugs or not. I guess we'll find out. Yeah. I'm still going to turn the light off for a while. Yeah. Maybe I'll shoot the um, my headlamp out across here after a little while. But I still want to wait for just a little bit longer. All right. Talk to you in a bit. Get to the highest setting. There you go. That's the highest setting. That's bright. But, yeah. Look at that. Oh, I don't want to keep it lit too long, but there's our hammock. That's where we're sleeping. I'm getting ready to crawl in it. Yes, we're going to have to be very careful. I've got my hand a little bit over the light because uh, I do have it on the higher setting. But, hey, I've got my top quilt down that end here just in case it gets cold. But it hasn't started raining yet. I'm surprised. I really am surprised because we're... We're about 10.30, so it wasn't that high of a chance, but after midnight, so I anticipate it definitely raining later on. Yeah, all right. Well, I'm actually really tired. <laughs> that that creek is making me very, very sleepy. All right, yeah, so this is comfortable. Bug neck's working out good, so this is, this is no bugs allowed <laughs> zone yet. All right, well. I don't expect anything to happen tonight. Yeah, because it's pretty late. Late, late, late. And I haven't heard any cars for a while, so we should be done until morning. All right, so then we'll see how it is in the morning. All right, well, good night. Lights out. See you in the morning. Good morning, good morning. <laughs> well, it's early. Well, it's been raining uh, pretty consistent uh, most of the night. Right? I, I don't know when it started. It might have been 1 o'clock or so, but yeah, it hasn't been a heavy rain, so the creek's not rising. I don't know if it's going to get heavier later this morning, uh, but 
Yeah. Damn. It's raining. It's pouring. Well, it wasn't pouring. I don't think I'm an old man, <laughs> but I might have been snoring <laughs> last night. Oh, look at that creek right behind her head. So I've got the old light, old bulb light me up because it's dark underneath here right now. Uh, but yeah, this is great. I'm definitely going to go back to sleep for a little while. I got my top quilt here. You can see I had that on. Got a little damp and chilly. Not too bad. I made it. <laughs> I was comfortable. I was warm. But yeah. But yeah, you, you hear the rain hitting the leaves a little bit there on the, the stuff that's growing up around the cover bridge. I can hear it a little bit on the metal roof. So I'm getting the best of both worlds. We've got some rain on the metal roof, and now it's been heavier at times. Um, got some rain hitting the water, but you can hear that creak. There's little little riffles down there that it's running through. Yeah, pretty nice. So it's still early. I had a couple vehicles go across this morning already. But it's not like it was last night. And I don't think those workers will be coming back uh, to work up there. And, and definitely not weed eating in the rain or mowing grass up there in the rain. Uh, but yeah. Yeah, this is a beautiful, beautiful covered bridge. And, uh, yeah. Uh, look, look at that. It's just amazing. So, it was a great night, great sleep, very relaxing. In fact, so relaxing that I'm going to go back to sleep for a little while until it lightens up a little bit underneath here. Then we'll get to, uh, making some breakfast. I get camp broke down. That's probably what I'm going to do first is break uh, break the hammock down. So, if anybody does show up, I kind of highly doubt it at this point. But if anybody does show up, Hey, hammock's not hanging here, uh, but we'll just stop down here and make some breakfast. All right, well, I'm turning my light out. Oh, you see how dark it is? Yeah, but it's light outside, lighter outside from underneath here, so we'll give it a little bit. I'm going to go back to sleep, and I'll talk to you in a bit. Okay, there you have it. We got the camp all broke down, so now it's time for breakfast. Well, what are we having? Well, remember I said I was going to do those waffles prior for breakfast? No. So, I'm going to go with my original plan. So, I've got two organic brown eggs in this bag. I've got three sausage patties. They're already cooked. Uh, I just got to heat them up and brown them. They're those brown and served sausages. I got my Cooper Sharp cheese, and I'm gonna scramble that all up in our pan, and uh, that's what we're having for breakfast. Oh, I was gonna make coffee, but not really in the mood for coffee. And I got to thinking, I could have had a V8. <laughs> yeah, so I got V8. <laughs> <laughs> Some of you will remember that commercial. So I got the V8. I've got um, Tabasco sauce to put in the V8. So that's what we're going to have. Uh, we'll have a power breakfast. All right. Oh, that wind is picking up. Yeah. Oh, God, we're all broke down. So I'm going to go ahead and cook this, and um, I'll talk to you when I'm eating. There we have it. <laughs> so there's our V8 juice. All right, so we already put the Tabasco sauce in it, so salute. <laughs> Cheers. Very good. Very, very good. 
Yeah, that's a good alternative to coffee. I'll have coffee in a little while when I said, oh, I don't feel like coffee. I always feel like coffee. All right, so we got our scrambled eggs, cheese, and those sausage patties. All right, there we have it. Oh, yeah. So, breakfast. So, I'm going to go ahead and eat this breakfast. Maybe I'll go down there and uh, stand by the water and eat breakfast and then talk to you right before we leave. It's pretty much, oh, it looks like it slowed down. Oh, it pretty much stopped raining. So, that might be our window to hike on out of here. So, I'm going to go ahead and eat breakfast, clean the rest of this stuff up, and I'll talk to you in a minute. All right, so there you have it. That was our camp under a covered bridge. Uh, it was a great camp, great spot, and I'm loving it. So I did look around as I was packing up and gathering my trash from cooking, and uh, there's there was only a couple pieces of glass that I picked up that's in my bag. So, hey, it's always leave no trace uh, or leave it better than when you came. All right, so... That's about do, done for the video, and uh, I just got to hike on out of here. Yeah. All right. Well, we got to cue the music. I think this old bridge can do it, right? There you go. All right. So, hey, I want to say thanks a lot for coming along on those, these random adventures. And I want to say, if you can't get out and have your own adventure, keep coming along with me. I think we're having an awesome time. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe. And hey, hit that notification bell because you never know what we'll be doing next. And I don't want you to miss coming along with me. All right. Well, I think we got to go. There's a break in the rain. All right. We'll see you on the next random adventure. Tony 2.0 out. All right. See ya. Are you still there? <laughs> Hold on a second. Ah, what? You can't walk? <laughs> what, you want me to carry you or something? Ah, <laughs> let me, let me get you. All right, you want to get on my back? All right, <laughs> let me pick you up. Oh. Ah. Okay, you all right? Okay, let's go. Uh, watch your head. Don't forget the duck. Oh, I said duck. You got a duck. All right, let's go.